This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart moments. You converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. There's this statement people have, what is yours is yours. So today's topic seems to contradict that. Um, it seems like you want to say that there's something we must do to keep our partners interested in us. Yes, what is yours is yours um, applies only in contexts where you don't have to acquire and retain. Mm -hmm. If you have to acquire a piece of land, what do they always tell you? Fence it, maintain in touch, mm -hmm. because grabbers are all over. Yes. And you can, you can suffer from adverse acquisition. Mm -hmm. Where if squatters have occupied your land mm -hmm. for a number of years and you did not, you know, you did not do anything, mm. it is assumed that you have allowed them to, to own it. Yes. Well, those things that take you energy to acquire, you're going to use some energy to maintain them. Mm -hmm. Now, with marriage, marriages are like a living organism, just like the two people are. Mm -hmm. You are alive, you are on a journey. Mm -hmm. When you marry another person who's alive on a journey, mm -hmm. that is a living thing. Wow. And living things require feeding, <coughs> require life, require mm -hmm. to be exercised. Yeah. Things that are living need to be given to be poured into mm. so that they can remain alive. Mm. But what happens? We tend to think we settled down. We settled. That's settling. Yeah. It's like we built a house, built our home. You know, a house is just there. Yeah. So we tend to imagine. We even call it an institution. Do you know institutions yeah. look, like, look like structures? Yes. So we don't perceive marriage like a journey <laughs> that we must keep <laughs> moving on. Yeah. That we must keep doing. Uh -huh. Today I want to focus more on the side of men, what they must do to, <coughs> to make sure their wives don't lose interest. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'm here for it. <laughs> to, 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 if you found a good wife, your next fear is, will I keep her happy? Okay. Wanting to be with me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And there are levels to marriage. You can have a marriage that is barely breathing. <laughs> it's on life support. Yes. I see you. Yes. Uh-huh. And you can find a marriage that is vibrant and alive. Yes. In hospital, they measure oxygen levels. So they have what they expect. If it is 90, they mm -hmm. expect that level. Mm -hmm. If you are going down, they call it depopulating. If you are depopulating, they have to give you oxygen masks, mm -hmm. give you a boost. Mm -hmm. Some people, their marriages are depopulating from love. Oh. And men know that. Yeah. That when your wife is not okay, you can be there together. Yes. But you're not okay. Yes. So men are not always worried about divorce. They're worried about keeping their wives engaged. Okay. Keeping their wives present and happy. Yeah. Keeping her essence alive. Yeah. That is what gives him life. Mm -hmm. To hear her happy on the phone. Mm -hmm. You call your wife and she's just tongue-tied. Mm. Doing, talking the bare minimum. You're not okay. It's true. If she's not doing those extra mile things, the extra yeah. mile, yeah. the extra mile, yeah. To, to, to perform her duties towards you with cheerfulness. Yeah. You're not okay. So what are some of the secrets to keep your wife cheerful and happy? I'm so happy with this topic. <laughs> <laughs> For the long term. Uh -huh. And number one is you, you should do the heavier lifting. Uh -huh. Do the heavier lifting and she will need you as a matter of survival. When you take the rough side of things yeah. from her, Yeah. There are men who think ahead and you find them hearing your wishes and they take it as a command. Wow. What you wish, he takes it as what he will undertake to do. Amen. <laughs> what, what he wants, what you want is what he wants. And he will make it his objective to carry it out. When a man does the heavier lifting, the woman feels relieved, mm -hmm. the hustle. She's still doing her part. We're not saying she'll be sitting there pretty. Life has a lot of things to be done. Mm -hmm. 
but the rough lifting including things like in the house you know when you want to load the water dispenser with that heavy thing mm. <laughs> you have to load it there are those the heavy tasks mm. taking out trash those simple things that, but then they include lifting physically there's another lifting that is not just physical it's also mental yeah they start handling the rough side mm. the rough side of things our, one of our lecturers will tell us she doesn't know the price of insurance Uh -huh. She never has to deal with car insurance. Mm. The husband organizes it. A boy has come. Oh, mom, we are putting your insurance. They're done. And I was sent. Put, put, put. It's wow. renewed, renewed, done. She doesn't have to think who to call, who to do what. Yeah. And there are men who deal with the rent to remind themselves they're not at their home yet. Mm. If you see a man dodging rent, he will never build a house for you. Yeah. <laughs> let, let him face it. Even if some of the money is coming from it, okay, but he wants to deal with it. Rent. Yes, the landlord that would negotiate with it's late is on to be called to deal mm. with it. Because when he's forefront, he's leading in truth and he knows how to solve this problem permanently. He needs to fail it to solve it. Yeah. You know? Uh, if, if we are doing small things at home that like the gas refill, the cylinder, the organizing the logistics, the annoying side mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> of life. Yeah. If he reveals it at urgent at night when, when we were cooking, he will think a way out of that. You yeah. might get a second cylinder for a spare, mm. for a standby. Mm. He can think outside the box. Yeah. If you do the heavier lifting, a sincere woman will always be appreciative, mm -hmm. knowing her single counterparts, what they have to deal with. Mm -hmm. And that, that side of the manly side of life, we are constructing something and you can deal with the contractor, you can, you can check this, what does it add up? You can see loopholes. Mm. You can sit there. Sometimes men will work from sight. Mm -hmm. The day they are doing the the, the slab, when they are, they, are, they are doing the shattering, mm -hmm. a lot of consumables can be stolen, like cement. Oh, yes. Or they can give you funny figures. We used 100 bags when they only used 70. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, there's a part where the man knows where the loopholes. Yeah. Even if the woman comes there, she won't know what is going on. Yeah. Unless she's very experienced. Yeah. So, the man wants to be there. We're not saying single mothers can't do things, can't build. We're just saying, when you are married... And if there's a man, you're the husband in the home, and you take that heavier lifting yeah. from her, she will feel safe. When you do that, what do you bring out? You bring out the princess. Oh, yeah. The princess is an energy of a daughter, not the energy of the mother. The queen energy is fighter-like. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's territorial. A woman who lives in that energy is too tough and thick-skinned. She cannot be pampered. She can't rest to be nurtured and spoiled. Love will never flow when your woman is always a queen. Take oh. the heavier lifting shots is a princess. Playful, sunny, easy. She brings out now the flavor in your family. Yeah. She brings out the, the fun in your yeah. love. Yeah. She can now think aesthetics, colors, softness, petals, roses. <laughs> she can think that way. Yeah. And it's perfect blend. Yes. When a man it's always dodging, dodging, and the woman has to bat heads. Yeah. <laughs> with life yeah, with <laughs> other men <laughs> you know <laughs> that's not a good thing yeah. <laughs> you know and the car world knows how to exploit women because by mentioning funny things yeah they also try it as on men but sometimes I can say the part you removed give it to me uh huh because if you did not remove <laughs> you said you changed this let me see the ones you changed yeah <laughs> you know yeah and i can cross check sometimes and i'm not sure at least i have several mechanics mm. you can send the photo what is this yeah when a man is taking leadership he doesn't need to be a car enthusiast you have several mechanics yes and they don't they don't have bile for you no gross. no because I've, i have some kind of subscription a relationship that looks like a subscription Oh. When I'm on that side, that's the garage I use. Okay. When I'm on that side, this garage I use. Oh. So sometimes you get problems when I'm far away. Very I'm just nice. sending a photo. Yeah. What is going on here? I don't know. One day, one of, you tip him here and there. Okay. And all that. Okay. So you maintain that to cross-check. Okay. And because they don't know each other, <laughs> they may not lie uniformly. <laughs> that's a very nice life hack. <laughs> yes. Thank you for that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So you can always tell, if, if, especially if you feel your gut telling you that, that's such an investment. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh. So what if I'm doing that side? What does it, what does it, the woman left feeling? If she notices something, a funny sound of the car, uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. I don't even allow that car to go for long without me testing it, just driving to sense whether something yeah. could be. Because I can tell when the brakes are, they're not yet finished, but they're mm. getting finished. Okay. <laughs> they, mm. they are not as sharp as I expect. Mm. And I can tell in a week they need replacement. Mm. I can look for what needs to be done. Yeah. Some, something women always may be, find it hard. Mm -hmm. When one of the lights is not working, because she's not looking from the front, yeah. she may not tell. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, yeah, but a man knows when there's another car in front, he can flash his own lights to see them from the front of that car. Yes, <laughs> see? Yeah. so there are ways I can tell, even when I'm at night, I can see how much light I expect from these sides. I have a question, <laughs> yes. Um, how do you is there a way to check the backlights? Those ones you, you, you just periodically check when there's a boy, a mechanic who's testing, te ask him to do the brakes, check. you check, and okay. all that. You just keep. Keep it in your mind. Okay. Occasionally. Yeah. When you do the heavier lifting for your woman and she feels there's a man, mm -hmm. a mechanical complexity, she can make a phone call. She can leave it, you'll handle it. Yeah. When there is a plumbing issue, very annoying toilet that is not working. Mm. And the man thought ahead and he has something he can use to to decongest as he gets a plumber tomorrow. Wow. He just thought, when you have these kind of things, you need this and that. Sometimes you see men window shopping, they window shopping for what could be handy on a rainy mm. day. <laughs> the same way you guys window shop for kitchen without a particular thing in mind. Yeah. Just what could be handy yeah. <laughs> for the kind of life I'm living. Yeah. When a man is trying to do the heavier lifting, let me tell you, he leaves it such that you can perform your softness. You can be soft and at rest easily. That part makes your woman remain so hooked and happy to be under you. She feels safe. To be vulnerable, she needs to feel safe. Mm. To be soft and happy and gully and joyous and bubbly and romantic and bring the fun and the joy and the juice of life, mm. she needs to feel secure. And one way you secure your woman is when you're driving, don't drive like you're trying to demonstrate. Please. You are rallying abilities. You're yes. giving up panic attacks. Yes. You do things that are... Com Wait until you get your boy, you'll do those crazy things. Please. When you're with your boys. <laughs> <laughs> you carry a woman. Unless he's an enthusiast of rally. Yeah. Both of them are not. Yeah. And they will tell you their comfort levels. Yeah. Make her comfortable. Yeah. That is a learning style I had to learn after I got married. <laughs> to drive a driving style. Gently. Yes. <laughs> You're carrying a princess. Yeah, don't just swerve. You, you know, I, I get, <laughs> get in brakes, brakes, brakes acceleration, <laughs> hooting, <No>. near hit. <laughs> <laughs> Men have that testosterone, the real, that women yeah. don't, most women don't want that. They just yeah. want to safely drive home. Please. <laughs> <laughs> without anxiety. Yes. <laughs> so if you learn that, you do the heavier lifting when you're driving and you can drive her and she's comfortable, which means you don't have to keep her on those levels mm -hmm. where she, you're just getting a car for the woman because she says she's okay with the small and then you keep her there only. Mm. As you upgrade with life, you upgrade because at many times you are with her. There are times you are with her. You yeah. upgrade together, you yeah. know. A lot of men find it easier when the lady's car is the one they're using for the family. Not all, but a lot of lady, a lot of men, because mm. she'll keep it soft, it has fragrance, it has a better life, it has snacks. <laughs> but these car is as dry as 40 Jesus. There's <laughs> nothing like, maybe energy drink, a very bitter thing. That's the only thing you can find there. <laughs> There's nothing there, <laughs> you know. So a lot of times that softness of the woman, you can organize family around it. Okay. And kids will like it better. Mm. everybody will be happier mm. <laughs> you know mm. so we are saying a lot of times when you do the heavier lifting the woman feels the difference you make mm. day by day mm -hmm. doesn't mean she cannot contribute sometimes apart from the cash money making the payment and following up on the execution mm -hmm. is also heavy lifting yes for example you need an excavator excavator to do some work mm -hmm. Go, go shop for the excavators. Listen to the language. Mm. Monitor the hours they are charging you. Because mm. sometimes they charge per hour. Or they charge per work. Or they do it shortly to finish and go. Mm. Who is doing all that? To check we only wanted to get a cotton soil. Now, woman and cotton. Cotton soil. Cotton. So have we got cotton red soil? <laughs> that language is heavy for the woman. Yeah. And if you handle it so that the work is well done, we think together, but I do the... Whenever it's implementation that involves some exposure to problematic people, mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm. The man will handle it. Yeah. He will shoulder it. Yeah. Shoulder it. Ah, that woman feels at she has arrived. Yes. <laughs> so always give your woman a reason to say, No, I'm better with this guy. Life yeah. is better with this guy. Yeah. And you can handle that. Mm. If that if it comes to a place where there is exposure to arguing, bargaining, risk of being exploited, mm. she can even pause and throw the problem to me. <laughs> when she can pause and tell me, pick up from there. These guys are what they are saying. Yeah. I can pick it up there. And when they hear that the one who is here, this one is close, knows what they are doing. Yeah. They are also, the, 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 the appetites, their selfishness goes down. Hey. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Sometimes when you go to places like they are building in a hospital, if you are not keen eye, some things are exaggerated, others are just left there, others are just automated. So mm. if you don't scrutinize, so in this life, don't say, I am not detail-oriented. The devil is in the details. <laughs> <laughs> you must be detail-oriented. <laughs> the devil is in the detail. <laughs> the fine print. Yeah. <laughs> Those things. You must ask questions. Ask, even if, just, just keen. Just check. Yeah. Keen. When I was young, I never used to bother about supermarket receipts. Mm -hmm. Until I realized that sense, I think, can sense the same thing three times. Mm. Even if the cashier is not trying to steal from you, <laughs> they can just yeah. So particularly when the bill is beyond what I expect, because sometimes you estimate in your mind. Eh? Yeah. So I learn to have an estimate of what I expect. Yeah. If my estimation is too this is too far, now I'll check. Mm -hmm. I don't check every day, but if I feel a need to, mm -hmm. I always pick my receipt. When yeah. I was young, when I was young and naive, I never used, never used to pick my receipt. I pick my receipt mm -hmm. because sometimes they don't pack something; they forget it there. Yeah. And you reach home, it's not there. It's there in the yeah. receipt. It's not there in your, in your packaging. Mm. Some of those things you learn as you learn to do the heavier lifting. The second thing you need to do as a man to keep your woman interested is to chart an upward course for your family. To mm -hmm. chart an upward path. Mm -hmm. You become boring after 10 years if your family is at the same place. Yes. Your woman can lose interest because you are no longer interesting. Yeah. There are no more uh, aspirations and improvement. Mm. If there's something that gives women pride, is when they introduce their better life to their friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The better things they're doing. Mm -hmm. And many of them are happy to accredit all of it to you. Yes. Says my husband. Sometimes it's annoying. Let me just. Yes, yeah, you are the one hearing. Yeah, you are the one saying. My husband, this, my husband, that. Yeah, you calm down. <laughs> when you don't say it's enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you say it with measure. But if it's true, they are always asking about you are this and your shoes and the other one. Yeah. So even those men who are naturally, some of us who are very poor in estimating the size of women's clothes, uh -huh. because we need also to be mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> you want mentioned. <laughs> Uh -huh. You really have to try and learn. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> because you want the credit. Yeah. You know, there before we thought if we just provide the money, let me uh, pay for that one. Uh -huh. Sometimes good women don't think about themselves too much. So she goes to the market, buys for everyone, nothing for herself. Okay. Children and husband come first. Yeah. So she's buying, uh, I didn't get a good one for myself. So she looked more for you guys. Yeah. So there reaches a point where you have to look out for her. When you say you're charting an upward path, you're saying elevating, improving the quality of life of your family gradually and stretching towards it with intention. Mm -hmm. A lot of people hope life will improve automatically. They'll get an improve and uh, a promotion or a better job. Mm. And, and, and so they live as soon as they can meet, strike even their bills, they lean back. Mm. A lot of men live like that. As soon as they can pay bills and we have found an arrangement that works, that's all. Because they just okay. go to work, pay bills. That is a recipe for boredom and monotony will set in. Even your discussions become plain, mm -hmm. predictable. Mm -hmm. You're paying fees, okay. This one went to the next class, okay. This one went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. You open a business and it's also plateau because the energy is plateau. When mm -hmm. people are making surplus money they start mm -hmm. leaving work early they trust the workers more yeah they stop being creative they hand over delegate and now they are a boss now uh, they, are, they are not coming early anymore they're waking up at 11. when they were starting the business they were there at seven now they are there at 11. 
I think that's one of the things you'll be discussing at the conference. The, yes. the, that culture of when you just break even a little. You, you, are, you, are, you are happy now, it's making it. Mm. And you start this boss vibe. Boss. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You become unreachable to your clients. Yeah. And, 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 and the business head is a momentum because of how much you put effort yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. But now you're handing over to people, you're delegating because you're seeing money coming in, money coming in. Yeah. The market is moving. Dynamics are changing. Then you move to a bigger house. <laughs> yes. By then, when money comes, you improve your cost of living. Yeah. Because you think you're improving your status. Yeah. So you improve your status and you're just increasing your cost of living. And all you have in your mind is if we just build a home for the family, if we just get a car for each other, one person, the other one. Yeah. We get a decent school. Yeah. That's all. That is the life. There's no upward trajectory for your family. Yeah. You know, women are very survivor oriented. They always think about their offspring. That is the nature of all female things. They mm -hmm. think about the survival of their offspring. Mm -hmm. So women are always imagining the worst. Mm -hmm. Okay, women overthink as part of existing, okay? So they imagine if this business collapsed, <laughs> if this man died, if yeah. things went south. Yeah. <laughs> what could, because they are more vulnerable. Yeah. Women can't just sleep in the street. Mm. They, they, they imagine the worst. Yeah. She can tell we are always exposed. Mm -hmm. That's why they keep suggesting ideas of security. Yeah. Let's build our home. Let's get a real estate. Mm. In case, and they know people who fell sick and they can no longer work. So they're asking, what if that happens? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Sounds pessimistic, but it happens. Mm. They, they, they know uh, one person can die. Mm. Let's get something in our names. Mm. Can we put a trust for this child? Mm. What about insurance policy? Mm. But there you are as a man. A hand to mouth. Hand to I mouth. I know. Hand to mouth comfortable. Mm -hmm. Live one day at a time. One day at a time. Mm -hmm. And woman is saying, this one day at a time, it's too risky, leaving us exposed. It's risky. Where we are now, we can consolidate things and secure this, mm. secure the other, secure the other. She's suggesting an, a what? An upward trajectory. So I'll give you a, a simple formula for upward trajectory. Mm -hmm. There's a time we said you should always have, you should always have projects, not loans. You know, people have been telling, always have loans. Stop advertising for debts. <laughs> Debts are not good, they're stressful. Even you meet people who seem to be bragging with the loans. You know, I just Imagine. Gotta, I just managed to get a loan for this and that. That's, that's, that's not free money. We're going to pay it. Yeah. So always have a project. Yeah. If you're going to have a loan, make sure it's an investment loan that is mm. good loan. Mm. Advantageous. Mm -hmm. Not adversarial. Advantageous. <laughs> Noted. What you're earning from, what you're investing is more. Yes. Or the opportunity was more ripe mm. and it was just strategic, yeah. not backward, yeah. you know. So we are saying in order to, to draw an upward trajectory, two steps I want you to do. One is to always have a project jointly, mm -hmm. have a project mm -hmm. together. Yeah. So always have a project you're working on. Projects, most of them are forward moving. Mm -hmm. The next thing is I want you to have is family meetings where you can exchange ideas. You can pick on her mind. Even if you had not thought about things that way, mm -hmm. you can hear her suggesting, for example, a large farm mm -hmm. where you can build a home and keep livestock, grow your food. You know, we noticed the other day that there was, we, we read several articles coincidentally, differently, but my wife was inside. Our, our, we, we came across them that there's an influx of uh, intoxicated food into, mm -hmm. into our market. Mm -hmm. through smuggling, mm -hmm. pesticides that are banned elsewhere, too much quantities. And because they are smuggled, they end up on our, in our tables. Mm -hmm. We buy them from shops, supermarkets, whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and we had noticed in our circles a lot of diseases. Mm -hmm. You hear this one, the other one, the other one. It's, it's alarming. Mm -hmm. Then you read the explanations mm -hmm. from the health, uh, Ministry of Health. Mm -hmm. And we realize ultimately families will have to grow their food. Mm. Ultimately, yeah. the, the, the idea is not, not just to buy a quarter acre mm. for building or eighth, and you notice an eighth can feed a whole family. You know that? I didn't know 50 that. 50 by 100 in the normal city place. Mm. It's both an investment for future and a farm. Mm. You can plant fruits there, vegetables, the things that are most vulnerable. Mm. 
fruits are very vulnerable because you don't cook them. Yeah. So if you plant them, you are better. You know how to clean them, how to handle them. Yeah. You know when they're they, they, they spraying. <laughs> you mm. can. So the vegetables and the fruits, they were saying that's the most, and then meat, so the most vulnerable. Yeah. And they're saying if you can find a way to in source rather than outsourcing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that part of your dishes, yeah. you can as well avoid cancers. You can as well avoid yeah. many explosive bad diseases. Yeah. You can as, because the, m many of these people don't care. They spray the, 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 the apple with something to mature quickly, become yeah. very good. The tomato to look. Do, 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 do. Yeah. When you're growing for yourself, there's no conflict of interest. Yeah. You grow it naturally. Yeah. When you, you draw an upward trajectory, be meeting regularly. When you meet regularly, it's like a planning session. Mm -hmm. It's like a review session. And it can be a meal, it can be a dinner. Mm -hmm. um, I, used to think, I, used, I, I never used to think it's a thing. Mm -hmm. We just discovered it by accident. But oh. I realized in the West, couples that are well to do have always done that. Mm -hmm. I followed their channels and they have many names for it. Mm -hmm. Many call it planning, meeting, have, 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 have whiteboard. Wow. So one person is presenting to the other one. Yeah. <laughs> the ideas. Yeah. The other one stands up. <laughs> this I love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Another one, they draw a chat <laughs> where oh, we were, what that. we think. So they filmed part of their meeting to show us. Yeah. How it goes, like just naturally. Yeah. So you may think you should do this to 50 people. Can you do it to just the two of you? I know. <laughs> yes, this is, you have a family. You have a, a whole system going on. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's a whole system. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And they say it because we do this weekly or we skip a week, do the other one. Mm -hmm. When we meet and do that twice monthly, mm -hmm. it has become very reflective and forward looking. Mm -hmm. And because we all have a time when we can say everything we think. Mm -hmm. And we harmonize. Mm. They say it, it is such. It ends up being such a bonding thing because you have a thing going on. Wow. Your woman will never lose interest when she knows you have things a, a great future. You're moving together towards. Mm. You're moving together towards. And when she knows she's a part and parcel of contributing to where we are going, mm. she can bring ideas and shape visions. Yes. Wow. I know I had said that I'll be ready to get married in 2027, but after this show, maybe I can revise that date up. <laughs> That's very good. Um, it's inspiring for me and I'm sure for a lot of single women to know that that exists. Yeah. It's possible. It's out there. And also, I'm sure it's encouraging to all the men who are watching and they are married. Yes. Um, I, as a woman, I verify what he has said will work. Yeah. Get yourself a copy of Before You Say I Do. And many of these other books, you can find them on Benjamin's website, www.benjaminzuluglobal.com. And uh, <clears throat> also, just to mention that... May 11th, this year, 2024, we've got a conference of all conferences. I'm really looking forward to it because you're going to be teaching us about how to make millionaire moves. Mm. It's yeah. how to create wealth this time around. Yeah. Not just to, to survive. Yeah. Not just to make a living. Not just to build a 50 by 100. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not just to escape paying rent, but to start collecting rent yourself. Yes. To move full circle yes. to winning the game of money. Yes. To translating what you are good at to something that can be passed on. Mm. That will give you secure retirement yeah. and give you a heritage inheritance to pass on to your children. Yeah. Yes. Um, there's a statement in my vernacular and the closest I can say it is in Swahili. Pesa huwa haitoshi. Money is never enough. There are some statements that we have grown up being told that I'm sure you'll be debunking during To that. make you too comfortable. Yeah, or, or just, yeah, to make you cope. Yes. With that. Smallness. Smallness, yeah. And we, we well, if you cope during your peak days, how, what will you do during your off-peak days? Yeah. Right now, you have energy. You can expand. There's a day you won't have energy. Mm. And then you become toxic to your children, cursing them, threatening them. Mm. We want to create <laughs> wealth. <laughs> so instead of cursing, we bless. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you for watching. See you at the conference. Bye. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. 
Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart matters. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life.